And here we have the 16 gigabyte Apple iPod Touch. I currently have mine in a uh, clear plastic uh, Belkin case to protect it. And also there is a uh, plastic uh, screen protector on it as well. Uh, a few of the features that I wanted to go over today Obviously, in the, in the settings menu, there's there's a bunch of cool features in here. Uh, under Wi-Fi, this is where you enable or disable your wireless internet, provided that uh, you're in a hotspot or you have Wi-Fi at your house. You can adjust your brightness. Under General, obviously, we can see the size of the drive that's in there. Uh, it is a 16 gigabyte drive, but with, as with all hard drives, when they format it, put the operating system on it, you end up with a little uh, less capacity. So here we actually have a uh, available capacity of 14.8 14 gigabytes. Now the one thing that I will tell you about the Apple iPod Touch, as cool as it is, if you're the type of person that has to have your entire music collection and a ton of videos on there, maybe this isn't the device for you unless you have a relatively small um, music collection. I tend to keep uh, a little bit of music on there, a ton of podcasts that I listen to, also uh, videos, video podcasts, whatnot. So for me, it uh, there is a sufficient um, a sufficient amount of a uh, storage space. Um, again, there's uh, a few things that you can do under the settings menu. You can adjust if you listen to audiobooks. It's great for that also. You can adjust the playback speed. EQ settings are pretty cool. I like to leave mine off just because when I start playing with it, I tend to uh, never stop. So for me, the EQ setting uh, remains off. Under video, start playing. This is one of the coolest features. Video, start playing, where left off. If you start watching a video, say you uh, you take a DVD and you rip it, you put it on there, you're watching a movie, and uh, you have to, for one reason or another, pause it. Um, you can pause it, actually skip out and back out of it if you need to, uh, shut it off. The next time you turn on the touch and you go back to that video, it's going to resume playing automatically where you left off. So, really, really cool uh, feature. It's actually... <laughs> Um, an unsung hero to be honest with you. Widescreen, you can turn the widescreen on and off. TV signal, NTSC, PAL, whatever you uh, you need. Um, a few other things there. We're not going to get back. We're not going to go into much more than that. Just a couple things I wanted to show you. Um, with the updated, uh, the latest update, firmware update for the uh, Touch, you actually can now enter calendar. Um, or you can enter calendar events. When the Touch was first released, uh, you could not do that. So they went ahead and added it. It's pretty cool. Um, contacts, you can add contacts to the device you've been able to since uh, day one. So uh, YouTube videos, if you're a YouTube junkie, um, you got to love that feature. Um, some of them you can browse by featured, most viewed, you can bookmark them, search. It's pretty cool. I found myself uh, when I when I first got it, I didn't think that I was going to use it that much, but um, you actually do. Clock, calculator, pretty typical features. Um, Safari browser. This is one of the best features available on the iPod Touch. The Touch, actually, the Safari browser that's built into it, actually is the best browsing experience that I've ever tested on a portable play on a portable media device. Whether it's a cell phone, or like the Palm Trio, or the uh, Blackberries, or even a handheld PDA with a with Windows Mobile on it, this is by far the best browsing experience that I've ever ever gone through. You can uh, open a new page here. We're gonna pull one for our bookmarks and uh, let's go to my website, gamingandtechnology.com. There it is. Now you'll see if you switch the player from portrait to landscape mode, it automatically orientates itself. So you can scroll up and down, touch screen, flick of the wrist, flick of the finger rather. You can in and out. It's actually really cool. The keyboard um, does take a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're like me, you don't have uh, relatively small fingers. Um, go ahead and completely out of there. Dot Yahoo. Oops. 
gmail.com. Go. Again, it is if you're if you're looking for a portable player or a portable device with Wi-Fi that you can surf the net with, um, it's awesome. I mean, I, I can't speak enough about the uh, built-in browser. As far as music, um, it is it's 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 a great player. There's tons of great players out there. Um, where this player does stand above a lot of others is in the user interface. Now if you take a look as you scroll, you can scroll by artist. Um, again, switching from portrait to landscape mode, this is where you're introduced to cover flow. Now, I find myself playing with cover flow on this thing quite a bit, whether it's video podcasts or even, uh, even just, um, if, if it's audio, video podcasts, whatever. From here, if you click it, you can actually scroll through the available tracks, select the track that you want to play, and it'll start playing that. Now, if you go from portrait to land or landscape back to portrait mode, you have we're back here. You can also from here go through the track selection. You can go back, back into our albums. If you wanted to go back into cover flow again, otherwise we can bring the player back up. Click on now playing. Now I will tell you one of the it's it's almost like one of those uh, like a hidden little feature that uh, I found out actually by accident. Um, say you're listening to the device and uh, you want to turn it off, throw it in your pocket. It'll still it'll continue to play, but the home button down here. If you actually double click that twice, the device as you see. Is still is locked but it does give you your volume playback control your play and pause as well as your track forward and track backward with it remaining locked that's actually pretty cool it's kind of so I guess like an Easter egg that you find once uh, once you start playing with it um, you can browse by albums songs artists and here I have some podcasts in here that I listen to. Uh, I'll go back out to audio. Videos, again, this is, if you're into video, uh, if you're looking for a, a device that also does videos, um, it is the best that I've seen. You select a video, automatically switches from portrait to landscape mode, and it plays. Fantastic video on the screen. Fantastic. Overall, I'm going to give this device a 5 out of 5 stars, not only because it plays audio very well, um, provide it, the audio on this thing is, is actually outstanding if you don't use the included um, earbuds. Apple standard earbuds absolutely suck, so get yourself a, diff, a, a decent player or a decent pair of uh, headphones or earbuds, whatever your uh, your flavor is, and the audio sound, the audio quality from this device is actually fantastic. Um, Video, again, from a small handheld portable device, video is fantastic. It's awesome. Five out of five stars.